Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And here we have Southampton against Aston Villa. My name's Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game. It's Jim Beglin. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. So empty, I'm receding And all of my friends are misplaced Been in circles several days Never knowing the right way mm, yeah so And that gets things running So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Coutinho He's a, a real magician with a wand of a right foot. His control is, is brilliant and he can pick out a through pass with the very best in the world. He's also scored plenty of long-range efforts in his time too, so defences will need to be sure not to give him time to line up a shot. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. towards the front McQueen looks to dink one in Buffal has a swing at it who's ball who's going to get there Ward Prowse on the other side yet able to force a breakthrough here McQueen can't hurt you with his back to goal and I think if they can keep him facing in that direction then the only thing he can do really is to just lay the ball off and, and he's not really going to cause much trouble if he continues doing that so I think they're defending him very very well Sanso and it's Walcott Philippe Coutinho Ings Lansbury Looks like a good ball through And a second time Goal! Villa! Great reactions in front of goal He just saw what was on our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Villa break the deadlock yeah and they know there's plenty of work left in this one Peter before they can actually say that the job is over Sanso Southampton are still behind as we reach out for half time that's a throw Walcott and it's Buffal Gilbert Philippe Coutinho Chambers and 
That'll be the final action of the first half. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. Southampton don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. Redmond, McQueen, tries to dink it in, is it in? Back of the net! Well, we're all back to square one, but I hope this game opens up from here. It looks as if it could happen. Walker-Peters with the smoothest one-on-one -on -one finish. He is one very cool customer. Oh, that's excellent composure because the keeper put as much pressure on as he could by not committing sooner. certainly made things interesting well I think this is a case of anything you can do we can do too I mean they're matching each other like for like here it's come loose McQueen Ward Prowse Ward Prowse Buffal Managed to get it away. Armstrong. Ward Prowse. Redmond. Aim forward. And the defence can get it clear. Armstrong. Tries the route one option. That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. McQueen. Aston Villa are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. And it's Ings. Ings pings it out wide. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. Keeper's got good distance on that. McQueen plays it out to the wing. Walcott. Ward Prowse. Inya pumps it upfield. And time is up. Well, a game that had everything except a winner. 